for half an hour, born at just 24 weeks. So when Jack Entwistle arrived in the world, he weighed a tiny one pound six ounces. He's now seven. He's here. And he's he's come and joined us. Hello, Jack. How are you doing? Come on, come and come, come, come and present the telly with us. No, no, I'm just trying to... We'll lure him with croissants or something that. like that, maybe. Go and check out that clock. That is very similar to how, how Kate reacts sometimes <laughs> um, of a morning. <laughs> because it's going to encourage him away from the uh, light, <laughs> for, for well, safety's sake. And don't lean on that, it'll fall over. It's all paper. Uh, <laughs> we'll be chatting to uh, Jack's mum and dad about how they've been coping with their uh, premature birth to the first seven years of Jack's life. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sharon after all, manager. Yeah. Just so you're up to date on things. Uh, also, she's played a nurse. Now she's a teacher in Waterloo Road, Jay Jacobs. Now, if your baby is born prematurely, it can be an incredibly frightening experience. Tamara Penrose gave birth to her daughter, Phoenix, when she was just 24 weeks pregnant. So six months on, her uh, baby's still in hospital on a specialist ward. Uh, here's their story. <laughs> I didn't feel like a mum up there. I didn't feel like a mum up there. Because when a mum has a baby, she has to hold him and to feel that bonding. I didn't feel like a phoenix because she got whisked away from me. I have my ups and my downs. And like, I do cry when I go home. And like, get really, really upset because I come here all the time. And like, you have people that are not. They're like, oh, where's your baby? How is she? And it's like, upsetting to tell them that she's still in hospital. And I'm like, oh, is she still in there? And it is upsetting. But, I get through it. I'm so happy that she comes off back. Turn a little chunk that she turned into now. <laughs> she's so, she, she's hard work, but I love her to well, Karen and Alan Edwards will know what it's like for Tamara and what she went through there because their seven-year-old son, Jack, was born at 24 weeks and had a bleed on the brain at birth, which has affected his development, but is otherwise very, very healthy, we're pleased to say. And Dr. Hillary joins us on the sofa. So, my goodness, I mean, finding yourself at the point of having a baby at 24 weeks, what was going through your head then? Uh, shock, just, just complete and, and utter shock because I think the thing is that you don't realise that a baby can actually survive at 24 weeks. There are children that actually survive at 21 weeks, you know, so it's, um, I mean, you're a mum yourself, you know, it's, it's, um, it, it's horrific. Terrifying. How much, how much have you weighed? Mm -hmm. He's off again. No. <laughs> he's very active, isn't he, for a yeah. seven-year-old? He's, he's a very mentoring, I'm afraid. I think he's going to be some kind of director. He really wants to get sex sorted, doesn't he? I'm sure. Um, sorry. Can, I no, when were you? We've got pictures of him when he, when he yeah. was born, and just wondering how much he, how much he, he was, weighed. He was one pound. He was wow. one pound six ounces. Um, quite quite a long a long little boy. Um, yeah. We knew we were having a little boy because we'd had a 3D scan in Leeds um, two weeks before he was born. Mm -hmm. So we'd just gone out, just bought the bare essentials, and it would be 12 months before he would get in those bare mm -hmm. essentials. Hey, in case you're wondering at home, if you can't relate to one pound six ounces, take a look at this. That is uh, just over a pound of sugar. It's a tiny palm of your hand. Oh, yeah, it's sitting it's, on the palm of your hand. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing to think that that's, that's yeah. how, how big Jack was um, coming out. Uh, so Hilary, it's um, a rarity, is it perhaps, you know, to have someone like I know, you know, the bleed on the brain, but otherwise very healthy young man. We know sort of between one and eight, one in ten children are born premature these days. Um, Your own were, well, weren't they? They were indeed. Mm. They were born at 28 weeks and they're 20 now. Mm. <laughs> that seems incredible. <laughs> but you know, a, ble a bleed on the brain is not unusual in premature babies. And, and often it doesn't have any repercussions at all. It's amazing that, you know, ch ba newborn babies' brains are, are constantly changing and that blood can sometimes be reabsorbed with no ill effect. We know that from ultrasounds which show the bleed and then, you know, the development can be normal in the future. But sometimes it can be detrimental. But that's just one complication. There's respiratory problems that can occur, infection can occur, um, uh, and all sorts of things. The temperature regulation is a problem. So that's why these children can spend so long in, in special care. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and Jack's done really well, hasn't he? And, uh, and I wish I had his energy. <laughs> you know, we always have his energy. Yeah. Karen, I mean, you felt unprepared, didn't you, basically? Yeah. Both of you did. Yeah. From the simplest things to like where to go to get clothes mm -hmm. that small yeah. to bigger things. And that's why you want to make this film. Yeah. yeah. I think it's important because, like Dr. Hillary has said, you know, this, this is quite a common you know, problem and we want to highlight, you know, the fact that these children are born. I mean, 
the Nuffield Council tried to you know, stop children being um, treated under 26 weeks in this country. We managed to get that overturned six years ago um, by showcasing Jack. You know. So these children do survive, you know, um, and it's important that this work is continued, and, and, really. And this yeah. film is all yours? It's, I mean, Absolutely, it's yeah. Film, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean prior, prior to Jack being born, I'd uh, written and directed about sort of a dozen short films, had them shown at film festivals, Cannes, Edinburgh, etc. So when Jack was born, I thought this emotional roller coaster journey, the whole thing from just before being born through the mm. four months in intensive care, I'd never seen that in a movie before. And I thought, mm. I want to do this, you know, I want, to, I want to write this. So I spent about three years writing that as a feature film, and we're calling it 24 Weekers, so it's quite a catchy title. Yeah. Last year we shot a trailer for the film, which is now online. We've got a casting director on board, Lee Mike Joy, uh, who's got the script out with quite a lot of uh, agents at the moment. We're looking to oh, announce the cast in Cannes in May. So. Oh, wow. Well, well I'll tell you what, I think you found your film manager, because Jack, he's filled out the last room, and got everybody ship shape. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he's, he's checking all the light fittings. Yeah. No problem there at all. To be honest with you, you're doing a much better job than half the crew oh. we have around here, so... Now um, you've done it. <laughs> now you've done it. Uh, lovely to hear you too. I'm glad it's so well for you personally. Good to see you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thanks, Jack. Bye, Jack. Go easy, though. Still to come on daybreak, a star of water.